All right, welcome back. Um, this is my setup video. Um, it's gonna be dirty. It's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be simple. It's what I got, and I do what I can with it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start with my PC. Some specs. Um, the lighting's not very good, which you will hate me for. But maybe I'll do the next setup video with a bunch of lights on. <laughs> I don't have many lights in here, so. Yeah. Um, let's get into it. What do you say? Yeah? Yeah? Alright, one sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to do something. Um, this is my setup, like I said before. Um, anything you want or need, I'll try to put all the links down in the description below. Um... If you're curious, my PC is custom built by myself. I ordered all the parts through all the shopping deals through the internet. And I built it myself. It's been working for me for three years. And it is awesome. It has really bad specs now. Not when I got it. So, But it still runs all the new games like Mad Max um, that recently came out. I've been running it. It has a really good FPS. Besides, it's an amazing game. Anyways, let's get started. Um, this is my PC first, and then we'll move on to the monitors and accessories, and then the consoles back behind me. Okay, here we go. Alright, this is my PC. It's probably really dark for you, but I've got some 16 gigs of RAM, an i7-3770K in there, uh, cooled by this cool master, cooler master thing. Uh, works fine. Um, I've got an Radeon HD 7 series graphics card here. An optical drive, which I don't use anymore. 520 uh, uh, power supply. A 250 gig solid state drive for my operating system. And then a terabyte hard drive for my games and such. Um, Here's a better look if the lighting works for you. If not, I'm sorry. Um, that's it. Cable management's kind of okay, but it works for me. Um, this is a coarse air. Uh, I got this uh, case when I first uh, built my computer like three or four years ago. Moving on to some external hard drives here. I've got a terabyte here that I've been have music and videos and, and photos on that. I've had that for three or four years. Moving on to my desk, I've got a five terabyte Samsung external hard drive for recording uh, and uh, YouTube and such. I think Twitch as well. I think I'm going to start archiving my Twitch. Um, this is the Behringer Mixer. It is used with my mic, which I'll show you in a second. Um, it has some inputs and outputs. XLR mic input up here at the top. Some tr two track outputs. Um, yeah, I don't know what all these buttons are for. I know these control different channels. This is my main mic. This is for headphone volume and and whole all overall mix volume on the right over here. Uh, how I hear all my games and stuff from my computer is this Astro A40's mixer, um, which I got from Pack South when I bought my gray edition of the Astro A40's for a steal. Um, again, I got those at Pack South way back in January or February. Um, they're fantastic, they're extremely comfortable, and I absolutely love them. Uh, moving on to keyboard and mouse, and mouse pad. Uh, this is a Logitech G510 keyboard. I've had this when I first built my computer. Um, it is a few years old. It still works fantastic with all the micros that I don't use, and the cool software that is kind of awesome. Um, yeah, so that's that. Don't mind this Steel Series. I had a Steel Series mouse pad and it came with a sticker. Now I have the mouse pad from Loot Crate, as you say, if you see below. 
Oh, Loot Crate is awesome. If you don't know what Loot Crate is, Loot Crate is is absolutely epic. You get these cool boxes every month. It's like uh, Christmas every tw like twentieth of of the month. You get a bunch of nerd stuff, collectibles, all kinds of stuff. Uh, the mouse here is a Redragon Centrophius. I'm never gonna get that right. Uh, gaming mouse. It has like what six buttons on it. Um, and it goes up to 2,000 or 8,000 API. It has different weights and stuff. Yeah, six buttons. I just I just recently got this because my other mouse uh, stopped working properly. Uh, I've got some gunners here. I also got at Pack South, which they work fantastically. Awesome do hags and things from Loot Crate and Pack South. Uh, moving on to my monitors, and then I'll cover my mixer. Uh, really good monitor, really okay monitor. Um, this is a 23 inch HP monitor at 720p. Um, it's working, so I'm using it. Um, this is a 24 inch 1080p 2 millisecond gaming monitor from BenQ. It's absolutely awesome, and I freaking love it. And I'll probably get another BenQ monitor as my third or to replace my second one. Um, this is a Logitech C910 uh, webcam. I don't really use it much because I don't have friends, so... But I have it. That's that. Um, I think I covered everything here. Any questions on anything I covered or didn't cover... Just let me know in the comments below. I'm going to move on to my consoles and my cable management for my consoles. Uh, modem up here at the, at the top. Some extra modem and routers. Uh, I've got my old consoles I don't use much at all. Um, that is an Xbox 360 in its box with a bunch of games. Um, next is my two consoles here. Uh, I've got the Xbox One Titanfall Edition, the white PS4 Destiny Edition. So just gives you an idea. Uh, the white one's awesome. It comes with a white controller. Xbox One comes with a black controller. Because the white one didn't come out recently until like a few months ago. Cable management on both my consoles or any of my consoles are hooked up to this HDMI switch. Um, it has five inputs, so I can have five, five different devices hooked up to it. Um, it has one output. It goes to my TV, and it's a easy switch. When I turn on, say, I have my Xbox One hooked up now, and if I just go here and turn on my PS4, you're going to see it, it automatically switches to that. So that's the HDMI switch. Um, if you are curious of where or how to get this, I will leave it in the description below. But that is that. This is an old mouse pad. Some cables here that I may or may not use in the near future when I redo my cable management for my setup. Uh, moving on to the TV. Uh, this is a 4K 30 hertz uh, Suzuki 39 inch uh, TV. Uh, I got it for cheap for a 4K price. Um, it has three HDMI inputs. Um, it has a few. He may have a DVI input. I'm not even sure. Um, it's really dirty. Um, I got my Xbox Connect here that has the decal on it, which is what that is. Um, um, other than that, that was my TV, Suzuki. You may not be able to get that TV anymore, but I will leave it in the description if you are curious. Um, I think that covers everything, guys. I may have missed something.
I may not have. Um, don't mind One Piece. Absolutely epic anime. I freaking love it. Um, that has been a, my gaming setup. I think I I think I mix. <laughs> I miss my mic my freaking mic here. <laughs> so let me cover this. Okay, this is an Audio Technica 2020 microphone XLR. XLR is hooked up to my mixer, like I showed you before. Um, it has a shock mount, which was like ten bucks. A stand, which I bought from my first microphone, uh, which was like probably fifteen bucks, like a few years ago. Um, it has a wind guard, which is actually the most expensive accessory. Um, and then the my the microphone itself. Like I said, this is an Audio Technica 2020 XLR mic. Um, it is hooked up to my mixer, which is hooked up to my computer. So that has been everything, guys. I think, I hope, <laughs> I covered everything. That has been my setup. It's kind of simplistic, kind of expensive, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video or if you didn't like the video. I think that's everything. I may have forgot something, but I think that's everything. Anyways, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time.